Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install PyCharm IDE on your Windows 10 operating system. So first of all, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Python. It's a very simple process. And then I'm going to show you how you can install Pygame. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for Python. And the first link which will appear here will be from python.org. So we are going to click on this link. And once this uh, website is open, you will uh, just scroll down a little and you will see this downloads section here. Now at the time of making this video, Python 3.7.4 is the latest version of Python available. So we are going to click on this uh, Python 3.7.4. And then when you scroll down here, you will see the files section here. And what we are interested in is this Windows section and we are going to download the Windows x86 64 bit executable installer. So this is what we want. So we are going to just click on this uh, link which says Windows x86 64 executable installer. And it's around 25 megabyte file, so it will take few seconds to download. And once this executable file is downloaded, I'm going to just click on this executable file and minimize the browser. And now you can see this first window here, I'm going to just say run. And now you can see this installation wizard is open. So by default, Python is installed on this path on your Windows operating system. But what I would like to do is I like to install my Python in my C directory so I can easily uh, access that directory. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the second option which says customize installation. Okay, so before uh, choosing this customize installation, you can also uh, check this checkbox which says add Python 3.7 to path. This is going to add uh, this Python installation to your path variables. And now we are going to just click on customize installation and we will leave everything as default and then click on next. And here is what we want to change in the location. So instead of uh, giving this path for uh, the installation directory, we are going to just create a new directory Python in the C directory and then we are going to install Python 3.7 inside that directory. So this will be the path where I'm going to install my Python. So I'm going to just create quickly this directory into my C drive. So I'm going to just go to my PC and then into my C drive. And you can see there is no uh, Python directory there. So I'm going to create a Python directory here. So folder and the name of the folder will be Python, okay? So this is what I have created. So now this Python will be installed in this directory on my Windows operating system. So now I'm going to just click on install and then click on yes, which is going to start the Python installation. So it's not going to take a long time. It will be a very quick process to install Python on your Windows operating system. And now you can see this setup was successful. So Python is installed on our Windows operating system. So we are going to close this window and check whether it's uh, installed successfully and working fine or not. So I'm going to just click on uh, this uh, Windows icon here. And then I'm going to just click on all apps and you will see uh, on the recently added uh, section, this Python uh, docs, first of all, and then you will see the Python idle IDE, which you can use to develop your uh, Python projects. And also you will see uh, this Python 3.7 manual and you will uh, see this Python command line prompt. Okay. So first of all, we are going to open uh, this idle IDE. Just click on idle, which is going to open this idle IDE. And you can see this idle IDE is open. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to configure this idle and I'm going to make uh, these fonts a little bit bigger. So I'm going to just say that I want uh, 16 uh, size, font size, and then I'm going to just say apply and then click OK. So now you can see this font size is a little bit bigger so you can see it easily. And I'm going to just print hello world here. So here I'm going to just uh, write 
hello world and then press enter which is going to print hello world this means idle is uh, working fine and you can uh, just start using uh, this idle ide to develop your python script now once python is installed successfully you can uh, also go to command prompt so you can just right click on your windows icon and then open command prompt and here you can first of all check python so i'm going to just write uh, python hyphen hyphen version and here it's going to just show you the current version which you have installed for python we are going to download the community version of pycharm which uh, you can use freely in order to uh, develop your python scripts so let's get started and first of all you just need to open your favorite browser and search for pycharm and the first link which will appear here will be from uh, jetbrains.com forward slash pycharm so we are going to just click on this link and once this website is open you can see this download button here so i'm going to just click on this download button and once you click on the download button you will be able to see uh, this download pycharm uh, text here and you can just download this pycharm on your windows mac os or your linux operating system so make sure that windows is selected here and we are going to download the community version so this is uh, open source and free version of pycharm so we are going to just uh, download this uh, community version just click on download button and it's about 250 megabyte file so it will take some time to download so just wait for the download to complete so now this executable file is downloaded so i'm going to just click on this executable file and i'm going to minimize the browser and first of all you will uh, see this kind of security warning so i'm going to just click on run and once again uh, just click on yes and now you can see PyCharm Community Edition setup is started. So click on next. And then this is the location where PyCharm will be installed. So I'm going to just click on next. And then uh, you have some options here. So I'm going to just check on create desktop uh, shortcut. I'm going to just create on uh, add open folder as project. Also create associations and also add launcher dir to the path so all the check boxes i'm going to check and then click on next and then click on install which is going to start the installation of uh, pycharm on my windows 10 operating system so it's that easy to install pycharm on your windows operating system so you now just need to wait for the installation to complete and then we are going to just open our pycharm ide so now you can see this last window which says completing pycharm community edition setup so you just need to reboot your windows operating system in order to fully set up your pycharm ide so just reboot your uh, windows operating system and then you will be able to uh, start pycharm ide and use pycharm ide so for now i will just click on this i want to manually reboot uh, this later but uh, for fully setting up your pycharm ide you just need to uh, reboot your windows operating system so i'm going to just click on finish for now and then you can see on your uh, desktop this icon will be created so i'm going to just click on this uh, pycharm community version icon and you can see this pycharm ide is starting and the first window you will see here is import pycharm setting from so we don't have any previous version of pycharm so we will just uh, leave it as do not import setting and click ok and now we just need to uh, confirm the license terms and agreement and click continue and then i'm going to just say don't send and you can choose uh, the theme of uh, pycharm so i'm going to use the light theme for now and now i'm going to just click on next you can also also, uh, click on skip remaining and set defaults also but we are going to uh, see all the options one by one so click on next and here if you want uh, idea vim or markdown you can uh, just choose uh, these options I'm going to just install the markdown really quick and once this is done uh, we can just start the PyCharm so I can just uh, click on start using pycharm which is going to open the pycharm ide so now you can see this pycharm ide has been started i'm going to create a new project so just click on uh, create new project and here you can uh, provide the name of your project so this is the default location where all the pycharm project 
will be uh, saved. So I'm going to just uh, change the title of the project, which is untitled right now. So I'm going to just say test one, for example, and then uh, create this project. And now you can see our PyCharm IDE is uh, opened. So I'm going to just close this uh, welcome to PyCharm window and maximize our PyCharm IDE. So this is the project which we have created. So I'm going to just right click on the project and then new and we are going to create a new Python file. And let's say this Python file uh, name will be test.py. So just name your Python file as test.py. So this Python file is created here. So here we are going to just check whether Python is working inside our PyCharm IDE or not. And here I'm going to just write uh, print and then I'm going to just print hello world here. So hello world and in order to run the script you just need to click on run here. So just click on run and then uh, run once again and you will see this kind of small pop-up here which says edit configurations. So I'm going to just click on edit configurations and you need to have Python installed in order to run any Python script. This is obvious. So now once you have Python installed, you just need to click the plus button or just follow these instructions. So I'm going to just click the plus button here, which I can see here to add a new configuration. And then I want to uh, add a new Python configuration. So I'm going to just click on uh, Python here. And now I'm going to just click on the apply button and now the run button. And you can see uh, it's going to update some uh, packages in PyCharm. And once uh, they are done, you can right click on your script and you will be able to see this option which says run test. So I'm going to just click on this option and it's going to run our script and show us the result which is hello world in our case. So this is how you can configure uh, your Python with your PyCharm IDE. So that's it for this video. I have shown you how to install PyCharm IDE on your Windows 10 operating system. I will see you in the next video.